Hey friends, Alan here with Renoob. Today I wanted to talk to you about one cool but unfortunately underdeveloped and underutilized feature of Studio One, NoteFX, and the ways to work around it. Let's dig in. So what we have here is the basic MyTai preset, so the default preset when you load MyTai, and the basic chord progression that will play with it. So it sounds like this. You get the idea. Note effects is a cool feature in Studio One that lets you modify the notes played in some manner, defined by the Note FX plugin. So Studio One comes with four note effects. So the most useful of them is arpeggiator. And you, if you put it onto this simple chord progression and with the default settings, you get something like this. You get some nice features in, in the arpeggiator that comes with Studio One, but it's not the most advanced arpeggiator we can find. And here lies the problem. So Presonus decided to be kind of purist about the note effects thing, and it's like proprietary Studio One technology. So there are not many, or if any, third party note effects for Studio One. And basically, you are limited to this, even though technically, Many VSTs are able to do just that, take MIDI input and modify it into something else. Today I wanted to show you how to emulate note effects in a different way. Unfortunately, as far as I know, you cannot force Studio One to uh, accept third-party VSTs that are not developed as note effects natively. If you know one, please let me know in the comments. Theoretically, there could be a third-party like NoteFX host that accepts VSTs or something like that, but I, I'm not aware of it. So we will have to do with a uh, workaround. So the first thing I wanted to show you is Dual Arpeggio in Reason Rack plugin. So it's a player that outputs MIDI, like arpeggios based on the MIDI coming in through MIDI out. So we can use the same uh, chord progression we had in our Mai Tai and use it uh, as notes played into a Reason Rack plugin. And then we can set MyTai input as Reason Rack plugin. And now if we enable monitor on the MyTai track and play the same progression on the Reason Rack plugin, here is what we get. So this arpeggiator is definitely more powerful than what we have in Studio One. And you can, you know, we just can just go through some presets. You get the point. So the notes, the chords are playing here. They go through Reason Rock plugin through the arpeggiator and then come out as media out here. And then we send those notes to our Mai Tai, which is still the same plugin. So uh, you can see that notes coming in from the Reason Rock plugin. The unfortunate thing here is that uh, you have to have the monitor enabled. And the best way to go around it long term is probably when you are happy with the arpeggio you get, you are better off just recording it onto the actual Mai Tai track. So we can record enable it, start recording. 
now we had actual notes recorded to the MyTai track and then we unhook it from the Reason Rock plugin and now it's just the notes playing and yeah so that's one of the uses some synthesizers like Arturia Pigments for example have built-in uh, sequencers and arpeggiators like here which we can also use as our note effects like plugins so over here we have uh, pigments again and we will use again the same uh, chord progression going into pigments and we will switch off engines in pigments itself so it doesn't play any sounds and we will again this time uh, put our input on the Mai Tai to pigments and now can go into sequencer so now if if sequencer is off in pigments it will just pass the notes through so let's let's try it so you can see it's playing our chords now let's try turning uh, the RPG later on So you have your basic arpeggiation and now you can play with features of, uh, of the arpeggiator in pigments. So let's say we can add some uh, randomness to velocity and maybe gate length, maybe probability. So it skips some notes and we can adjust some here now we can use it in sequencer mode it's better with single notes than in chords because it plays one note in this to uh, you can make it adhere to some scale and again using something as massive as pigments might be an overkill using it live as just a note effects but again the best way to use this is once you settle on the notes, you just record it into your track where you actually want to play it. And you remove the connection between the note effects imitating plugin and, and the track itself and it just plays the notes that are already recorded. Another cool plugin to use as a note effect or maybe as a sequencer in this case is Scalar 2. So we can set up our chord progression here and then again we can uh, set our Mai Tai for input to come through Scalar 2 and now when we play this progression plays in Scalar 2 but the actual instrument playing is our Mai Tai and then we can use great features of Scalar 2 like voice groupings for example so we can play chords in a more interesting way and we can use some performances that come with Scalar 2 and we are, we are happy with what we hear we don't even need to record it. We can just drag the MIDI onto the Mai Tai track, unplug it from Scalar 2, and now it, it just notes no track. One thing to be aware of is not, not all uh, VSTs that have uh, sequencer functionality or arpeggio functionality can actually output the notes back to to the host so one one such example is retrolog from steinberg so it has a, a pretty cool arpeggiator and you can turn it on so you can turn it on and then have some phrases So 
It's a pretty powerful arpeggiator and sequencer, but unfortunately you can only use it inside Retrolog, so if you go to our inputs again, you cannot select it as an input. At least, uh, uh, un unless it's some hidden feature in it, and if you know that you can, please let me know in the comments and I'll be happy if I could use this as, a, as an OutFX for my other instruments. So this is just one thing that you have to be mindful of, so you don't end up you know, creating this great sequence that can that you want to play on some other instrument and then realize that there is no way to do that. I hope you found this useful and if you did, please like, subscribe, ring the bell, all the great stuff, and I see you next time with another Studio One quick tip.